Roswell Flight Test Crew back here at NAB 2016. Click subscribe to keep up with our latest from the show. And I'm speaking with Christopher McCall from Photokite. How are you doing today, Christopher? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming. All right. Thank you. We're glad to be here. And you've got a really cool thing here. It's a tethered drone. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Well, I'll show you our first system. It's the Photokite Pro. It's a system that's designed for broadcast professionals and industrial inspection. It's very unique in the fact that it's powered from the ground. So it's able to keep 24-hour persistent flight in one position uh, without any human interaction with it. That is so cool. To my eyes anyway, it looks like a fairly conventional, albeit very lightweight quadcopter with a two-axis gimbal on the front there, but no battery. That's right. Right now this system is actually plugged into the wall. So you can power it from mains power and keep it up in the air for as long as you have power. Now what if you are operating in something like a remote location where, you know, even out in the middle of a field where you can't get power, is there an alternative for using it with batteries? Absolutely. The ground station can also be powered with just regular power tool batteries that slide into place and keep this system nice and mobile for you. Outstanding. Well tell me a little bit more about this control module here. The system is completely self-flying. It keeps its position up in the air no matter what. If you want to change any aspect about where it's flying or where it's looking, you can do that over the 2.4 gigahertz communications channel. It really is kind of a normal RC radio just with this cable filling in for the, the battery. That's right. You've got this very cool system. What does this cost? This is the professional system. So the professional system including a live 1080p full HD broadcast quality video downlink is 8000. All right, so now in addition to your pro-level system here, you've also got one made for the consumer. That's it right there, huh? That's right. We call this the Photokite fee. It and I, I, I just have to call it the drone in a can. <laughs> you can call it whatever you'd like. It fits into this carry-on case. It's, it's in this tube. It unfolds. Uh, it comes out of the case just like this. Arms pop out. You clip it in place, and you're ready to fly. It's out of the tube and ready to fly in less than 15 seconds. That was amazingly quick. I hadn't seen this before, just watching you do it here. Wow, that is fast. So what are the components here and how do they work together? So it flies a GoPro Hero 3, 3 Plus, or 4. It includes GoPro controls. It can also fly a Xiaomi Yi. There's an onboard battery, which will fly the system for about 15 minutes. Um, and other than that, it's actually just kind of the easiest way that you can gather aerial shots uh, without having to worry about all of the traditional problems with traditional drones. Now that's an important thing to point out is that with this one it, you call this the photo kite, you're literally pulling it along behind you like a kite. That's right. Yeah, the, the dynamics of this system are completely different from a traditional drone. It uses the tether force and an IMU on board to estimate its position and keep that angle relative to you throughout flight. There's no GPS on board, so you don't have to worry about flying in buildings or under in a cave or near build, yeah, any, anywhere. So this is really cool. Um, what are you charging for it? Right now we're taking pre-orders for $349 and delivering this summer. Well, Christopher, thank you. This is so interesting, and I'm really excited to see this technology firsthand. Thank you for taking the time to show it to us. Thanks again for coming by. Absolutely. And from NAB 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crews signing off. Thanks, Christopher.